about half of student tenants renting off-street housing, the joint tenants, where occupants are treated not so much as individuals, but as a single indivisible body. And of course, any notice given by a single member of a joint tenancy ends the whole joint tenancy. Um, there's no need for agreement or consensus amongst the other tenants. That's how it is. And in theory, all the occupiers should vacate the property on or before the notice expires. And those wanting to stay would then need to agree a new tenancy with the landlord. Um, if no new tenancy is agreed and anyone remains in the occupation, in occupation, then actually there are some quite savage penalties uh, that can be levied on tenants uh, in terms of what it's cost the landlord. Oops, I've just missed one out there. Let me just... If a joint tenant ends a tenancy early and the landlord can re-let the whole house, then landlords may say, okay, you will all go and I will just simply enter into a new contract with a new set of tenants. Um, I think that will happen where you've got housing shortages or where the market is very active, if that, where that happens. Um, so if you've got a lot of postgraduate potential tenants phoning you, saying, I'd like this property from the end of June, you might think, well, to hell with it, let's just clear the house. The other option is for the landlord to talk to the existing tenants and work out a financial settlement in order that the other parties can stay. Um, and remember, it will be in both the students and the landlord's interest to reach a solution on that. Uh, I think there'll be a degree of legal winging it uh, in these terms, because the formalities will just take too long to meet the needs of either landlords or tenants. I mean, uh, just, just consider that for a minute. Let's say someone gives notice to take effect on the 10th of May. You know, are you really going to bring the tenancy to an end? Go for all that repossession. You may not have time because you've got two months notice to quit, but you've got to give four months notice to uh, seek repossession. Then you've got some tenants saying, well, we don't mind paying a bit of extra money, but we want to stay until the end of August. I think a lot of landlords will just need to take a decision about is that is that what's going to happen? And if it is, they will probably just wing it and, and those tenants will leave. They will collect the rent and a new tenancy will begin at the beginning of September. Um, a bit messy, but and, and, you know, with a level of risk. But in most cases, students will do what they say. And it's important that you don't look too negatively at that. But it's, it's not going to work. It is not, this is not like seeing a precision watch. It's not going to work like that.